And it's 3.03 and a half now, 3.03 and 38 seconds, less than a minute to totality. Then the crescent is starting to disappear at the edges rapidly as well. It's starting to disappear rapidly. Mylar filters are now off. And here we go. Now the light's really dropping now. You can already see the inner corona. You can already see the inner corona, even though it's not even touched yet. There it's going down. Spectacular Bailey's beads, spectacular. Oh, Brilliant. Yes. Absolutely incredible. There's a very long streamer going straight down. Very fine brushes to the left. There are other brushes too. You can see the long streamer down the bottom and two small streamers above. There's a number of prominences visible around the sun. The is very clear at one side. I've set the data back going. It is very dramatic indeed, but we've only got 55 seconds. 55 seconds of this. Yes, and the diamond ring. Yes, and it's really breaking up at the edge. Multiple beads. Multiple beads of the diamond ring. Very unusual diamond ring indeed. Not a single brightening at all, but... Uh, and the sun is now emerging again and <coughs> probably time now to try and get the shadow bands time to get the shadow bands that was extremely exciting stuff well it was as we expected <laughs> typical, a typical solar minimum corona with the long equatorial streams, the equator of the sun was more or less aligned uh, up and down as we look at the sun. Oh. So that's a long stream of There were a number of the shadow going? Uh, yes, yes, it was all so quick though, wasn't it? It was very. It seemed like 10 seconds. No. It was so dramatic. Yeah, it was about 45 seconds altogether. It was, it was, on the, it was so clear and sharp. In yes, the sky. very so sharp. The, details. the detail was fine. The polar brushes were very sharp yes. and fine. And the structure of the corona was also very yes. sharp and fine. There was a long streamer, I think it was the top. Yes. Uh, and uh, some others to the side, but there wasn't enough there was, time. There was one at the bottom, a very long one at the bottom, and at the top there were several. It was the, in fact, the structure at the top of the sun was very complicated. And looking through the, um, the viewfinder, the chromosphere was visible all the, more or less all the way round the, uh, the moon. I mean, obviously, I've never seen an eclipse that short before, no. so it, it really was unusin that respect, but there was this pink when all the, the way round. When we were about uh, a minute to go to totality, the cusp at the edge started shrinking rapidly at the edges. It did. And those bits becoming detached. Yes, I didn't Bailey's beads were very broad on this occasion. Yes, now I saw Bailey's beads both going in and coming out. Yes. And coming out, there was a whole string of them, and this red, intense red at the top. Indeed. Uh, I probably looked far longer than I should have done, but it didn't feel particularly No. Bright. I mean, the, the diamond ring was unlike any diamond ring I've ever seen. It was a very broad diamond, because as you say, Bailey's, it was a really bright Bailey's beads at the end of the eclipse, and, and it wasn't a single sight where the sun reappeared. No. Very unusual in that respect. Yes, it was. It was quick but dramatic, I think. Indeed so. <laughs> Richard, it was very quick, wasn't it? Well, it seemed to be much less than 55 yes. seconds. Um, I, I was able to watch the Earth's, the moon shadow sweeping across yes. rapidly yes. with the brownish edge to it. It was really quite, um, quite surprising. I made a rough sketch of the, um, of the corona from memory. Ah. The inner corona, to me, appeared to be extraordinarily bright. As John said a moment ago, there were some polar plumes, and the diamond ring broke through in several places at once simultaneously. Uh, the diamond ring took me quite by surprise because yes. it was moving so quickly yes. and um, really um, the eclipse did seem to be a little bit shorter um, than I anticipated. See, yes, I, I did find that three minutes in Chile to me was like 30 seconds and I think this one minute was like uh, 10 seconds. So about a factor of six less than you think. Yes, in fact my, my program was followed. I took one second, um, about 10 seconds, five, 10 seconds into totality. I took an exposure of one second. 
I then took a further exposure um, of one second, and I reset the camera immediately and got um, two shots of 125th of a second. But uh, in fact, um, just as I was um, about to take some more, the, the eclipse yes, suddenly was over. It was quite <laughs> incredible. Uh, incredible, really. I, I mean, you I can do... still do the trick with your hands on the wall. It's a still a thin crescent. Well, isn't let's it? try, shall we? Yes, you can, quite clearly. Yes, uh, a bit better than before, maybe. I think we're nearer to totality now, aren't we? Yes, in fact, if you put your fingers like that, you get the sharp shadow, you put them like that, yes. you get a fuzzy shadow. I raced round to look at that white sheet that they've got hanging up, but nobody was doing any shadow bands at the time, because there didn't seem to be, there didn't seem to be anybody, and nobody was, nobody was putting their hands over it. So. Now, you normally do not see that at all, because the moon is bigger.